Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock, welcome along to the stream. And I'm still a bit unsure about how the connection is, how solid it is. Hopefully it will be okay. But we are back and we are playing the Stanley Parable. Hopefully. If everything works as intended. Fingers crossed. The end is never the end, is never the end, is never the end. Come on. We've got 12 frames. This is the story of a man. And I've got no audio. Probably because my headset's turned off. It's been that long. I never thought about that. Alright. We know that this is the story of a man named Stanley. Alright, so. Let's try and remember. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So we've done everything here, because I think the only things we can do here is go out the window like we already have. Right. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. It's alright. I still want to touch. I like touching everything. I want a coffee cup. I want the green one. Nine, nine, nine. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. Partition core. Alright, we're still at 12. That's good. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? <laughs> Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five <laughs> clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Well, I'm trying. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing a true effort <laughs> noble cause. Perhaps Should we just keep going? Clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. All right. 50 clicks it is, then. Oh, frames are dropping. I don't know what's going on on the internet. I've reset the whole thing. Gotta be near 20 now. 50 right now, right? Have to be near it. Come on! No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. Oh, I want come to see on. Hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment. A willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Okay. Where is 417? Where is door number 417? All right. Ooh, Five. Great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. All right, 437. Where was 437? Ah, here's 437. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. All right. 415 it is. Now, back to door number 437. Okay. 
best achievement ever. Best quest ever, I mean. Not achievement. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> uh, that awkward moment where you feel like you're absolutely getting the piss okay, ripped out of you. Now go climb on employee 419's desk. Yes, this is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few <laughs> clicks on door 41's. We've almost got it. Now the copy machine. Do that one again. All right. Go back to the copy machine. This achievement better be worth it. Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door four three zero. Yes, we did it. Oh wow! That's all amazing. <laughs> oh, achievement. Did it, Stanley, nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really now, what were you thinking? All right, now we've got that out of the way. Should we carry on the story? Let's carry on the story. Let's carry on the story. Turn off all the computers as we go. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right. No. All right. The meeting room. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Hey, y'all. What's going on? Uh, so far, we have just done an uh, achievement for pressing the door five times, and we ended up going on like a massive um, walk around to get that achievement. Every one of you unique. You, most of all. Number of slides on this slide. <laughs> Rate always charged on the same slide to <laughs> the same information. <laughs> oh dear. Rate of increase in grass per slide. Circle the top 20 things you love most about your boss. Fill in the triplicate and return to the boss appreciation specialist. Specialist. Anyway, it's enough. Let... Really? Okay. Yeah, the press the door achievement. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. So I get to use the executive bathroom, though. That door does nothing. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated hey, this. Hey, Aaron, what's going on? What dark secret was being held. Did I not say hello? Hello, welcome what along. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him and so the boss had stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk that kind of anxiety isn't healthy so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music <laughs> oh dear i pressed it a little bit too soon soon Blah 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 blah. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. All right. So I'm just trying to think what we didn't do last time. I 
I also don't want them. There's numbered buttons in one of the. Um, there is numbered buttons in one of the things, and um, I don't know what they're for. I don't know what they do. I don't know how much replayability this has got, to be honest. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Alright, so I've been down here, but I didn't turn back, so maybe I should go this way first. Although this passageway had the word Escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. At some point he tells me to turn around, doesn't he? He did last time. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Let's go back. Gonna shoot my face or something? But of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Now what if we go back? Nope. Still on board with death. <laughs> Alright, now what if we go back again? What if we go back? No? Nothing? Hey, Joe Silver, what's going on, buddy? Welcome on stream. Hope you are well. I have got some of your maps in my queue, but um, we're having a little break from Paul at the minute. We're playing something else, as you can probably see. Playing Stanley Parable today. Uh, I'm going to do some recording for YouTube later, so I will probably get them recorded up for the next week, uh, if that's okay with you. Show triggers toggle. <laughs> at this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Try to turn cheats on later. Okay. I will do that. I'm sure the narrator will have something very witty to say as well. Nothing? Okay. Uh, I had a look through and I picked some that I thought would look interesting. So, um, yeah, I picked them myself. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Funny that, eh? Looks like portal catwalks. Funny that. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. All right. I want to know who's the pirate. I want to know who the pirate is. The pirate kind of interests me. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason yeah, I've uh, already. I did that yesterday, actually, Joe. I did that in yesterday's um, stream. You get to play like the first level from Portal One. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control. Never. It was unthinkable. All right, so. It? 
Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was Stanley. Stanley. <laughs> the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power. Where's number eight? That's probably where the eight button is, right? For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. And there's an achievement for number eight. So where is it? Where is it? Hmm. My knock or lay? <laughs> There is a number eight button. Oh, what's this big button? Maybe I can come back and put the press this when I press the button through here, right? Maybe that's how this works. Let's turn the system power on. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation. To put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Yes. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the let it go. Off let it go. Leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're gonna have Is that the Tuesday one, that. um, Sonny? Play all day for Tuesday. You think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification. Nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the uh. bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment um. of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. Where's one? I'll tell you exactly what happened. Where's number one? I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Um. When you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. Purple? My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? <laughs> to hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why oh, not? thank you. These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Hey, what? Oh, dear me. What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be? I opened a door. Now? I opened a door. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning Three? off? Three? 
I don't know. Could you? Running from button to button, screen to screen, <laughs> clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One sold? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? Nope, no clue. <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. How did I open that door before? To control this world. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending. I think I missed my... I think I missed my um, thing to get through there. Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all yeah, there's a there's an achievement that says um, play all day on a month, play all day Tuesday or something like that, Sonny. I just assumed that's maybe what you was referring to. And we're dead. We did. Yeah, maybe I missed my opportunity to go through the door. Maybe. All right, maybe we should. Um, uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> achievement. This is an achievement. Uh, ba, 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 ba. So hold on, is there a way to... Is there a way to turn on developer console then or not? I... I don't know how else I would... You said to me to try and cheat, turn cheats on, but... What's the... Is there a control for the developer console? I, I don't know. His co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Well, this is different. That's different. Oh, no, 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 no. It's backwards. This is backwards. This is backwards. Why was that room backwards? Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What should we do? Left or right, guys? Left or right? Okay, okay. Let's go... Right, this time then. Thank you, Joe. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Um. Nope. I want to go back this way again. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Alright. Can I jump down here? But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. 
Oh dear. Alright, I'll tell you what. Let me save. Uh, there we go. Alright, exit. Let me quit. And let me add in on this launch option here. Uh, da, 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 Stanley Parable. Where are you? There you are. Because, you know, Steam ignores the. So it's just dash console. All right. There we go. <laughs> All right, load game. Stanley, this is me being serious. In fact, this is my serious room. It's where I come to be serious. <laughs> That table is the most serious <laughs> table I could find. I looked at many, many tables, hundreds of tables. It's possible I looked at over a thousand tables. I honestly don't know. The specific number isn't as important as the understanding that of all tables I looked at, this one is the most serious. Okay, this was the most serious table he looked at. to impress upon you the extent to which this is the most serious room I have, which is why I brought you here. You just tried to activate server cheats which of course runs the risk of breaking the entire game. You've got no respect for the strict order of scripted narrative events, and I just can't have that. It's time to get serious, Stanley. No jokes, no games. Outside of this room, I might be more tolerant of those things, but now we're in the room. Which is why I'm subjecting you to the most serious punishment I can think of. One hundred billion trillion years standing here in the serious room. Perhaps after that, we can talk about the severity of your actions and whether you've learned anything. But until then, serious room, go. All right, well, I will see you in 100 billion trillion years, and guys, have fun. <laughs> oh, sorry, right, guys. I thought that'd be quite funny just to. All right, activate cheats again. Okay. I haven't gone anywhere. Don't, don't worry, Treasure Ghost. I haven't really gone anywhere. Have we not had the talk? Are we not in the serious room this very moment? Did I not tell you how many tables I looked through? I'm going to be conservative and say it was somewhere in the tens of thousands of tables. Any reasonable person would say I spent an absurd amount of time doing nothing but looking at tables, and I genuinely considered each one too. I took a hell of a lot of notes. I kept the notes in a different room. That room is less serious than this. Oh, can we go to that room, please, narrator? Or, um, a notes room. I hey, Rod, what's going on? Yeah, I'm a Stanley version. I only bought it about, about a month ago, I think, so, yeah. The second day I've played sure it. You'll agree with me once you've fulfilled your new punishment. Infinity years in the serious Infinity room. rooms! I generally have trouble reading human emotions, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that you're devastated. Oh, yeah. I am. I'm devastated. I am. Absolutely devo. It's the most serious I could think of. 
Can you get more serious than that? No, you can't. Don't try. Try no clip? Okay. Um. Hold on. So let's do SV cheats one no clip. Hmm. Still no effect. The problem is clearly the serious room. It isn't serious enough. That's on me, Stanley. I apologize. I'm going to the store to look through more tables. Hopefully I find one that conveys how wrong what you're doing is. Now, where did I put those notes? In the less serious room? Try cheats again. Oh, clearly he's going to um, be in... Okay. Is he just ignoring me now? I guess he's just ignoring me now. Restart the game. Okay. Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? He could no longer recall. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Okay. Yes, Egal. Try punching those keys in your keyboard that read out face punch. Huh? <laughs> what? Um. Well then. That's certainly, um, different. <laughs> I love it how, like, the door would kind of, like, be... <laughs> okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Can I, can I cheat again? There we go. Uh, yeah, can I cheat again? Uh, what will happen if I cheat again? Do we just go back? Does nothing else happen? Nope, nothing else happens. Alright. Begin the game again! Okay. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? Okay. I, uh, no clip won't work. No clip won't work. SV cheat zero.
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Is that it now for the, the paper trail? I guess it is. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to Oh, uh, quite a few. Quite a few. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? Locked myself he in the broom closet. What known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Eight. Two. Eight four five, but of course Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. I got the Stanley achievement. Stanley began entering random codes into the keypad, knowing full well the sheer statistical unlikelihood that this would ever result in a correct combination. If he knew that the combo was two eight four five, it would be another story entirely. But no, no, this is what he was going to do instead. He's going to get sarcastic in a minute, isn't he? I can tell. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know <laughs> that the combination was 2845. Eight. 2845. He'll probably put it in himself for me in a minute, you see. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, <laughs> and the door just <laughs> opened all by itself. I called it. Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. What if I keep pressing the button, though? What if I keep doing this? Because I know when I emptied it before, I wasn't able to like press it on here. Alright, let's try putting the correct one in. Alright, nothing. Alright. Down the elevator we go. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Right, so what I'm going to try and do this time... I don't know, if it, is there anything else we can do in the Standing monitor room? Straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control. We've done that ending, haven't we? And there was nothing we could have done. Uh, that's like the death ending, the crushing ending. Um... What if we just stand here? What happens if we just stand here? Uh, have I already missed it? Go back? Is it too late to go back? I think it might be too late.
The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Okay. Where am I standing? Push that button that opens the elevator and then just stand there. The freedom is is the freedom ending the one where you just walk out? Now the monitors jump to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's right, okay. the lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Let's push this one. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? All right. Super secret! Secret mode engage! Never give up on your dreams! High resolution secret textures! <laughs> now what do we do? Do we go back? I guess we can't go anywhere else, right? Can we just wait this out? Or... William hides the best secrets. Secret of the year, every year. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control, never. Alright, so I just want to see if I can get that door open again, because I'm sure there's like a, another... I missed my opportunity to go through the door. I don't know if I pushed a random combination of buttons which opened the door, or whether or not the door is just open for a little bit for a start, but... Um, yeah, let's go and find out. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he... Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. 
If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. But there was an open door. I want to see what the open door leads to. That one right there. And I believe you'll find this pertinent. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. That one right there. This machine is activated without proper DNA identification. Nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. Right, the door is open. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in All right, mind. Fair enough. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. I, need the, course, I guess the buttons here in don't... In this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing right. buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Uh, freedom ending, you enter one of the game's few cutscenes in that moment where you are supposed to be free, your character acts without the player. Personally, I believe this comes up in two options. Either the player is in mind control for it itself, or we got taken, or we've got taken the control of the machine. There is no combination we know that opens the door. Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, restart the game and use the right door, go to the elevator and go to the, go to the elevator and go to the elevator. <laughs> I think you repeat yourself there. When you get to the phone, unplug it from the power. I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. So uh, let's just restart the game, shall we? Restart the game real quickly. All of his co-workers were... Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? Yeah. I said well, to on the right. Came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the deed, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. This elevator or the cargo elevator through here. Treasure ghost. Can't go away. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Alrighty then. I see no telephone. Ah, uh, yeah, the one uh, that leads to the crushing, crushing, and then you get the woman narrator, right? Have I gone past the phone already, or not? Or is the phone on the other side? Oh, it's after the event. Alright. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. 
I'm sure she has, but I haven't got a I haven't got a wife. Don't lie to me. Um Have I missed it? Or am I still going the right direction? So I've not seen one up to yet. That's her, Stanley. Oh no, 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 you can't did you just unplug the phone? Now that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. <laughs> no, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. <laughs> if you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Okay. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. <laughs> Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, okay. please. This is looking different. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. <laughs> that story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped.
All right, guys. Sorry about that. Sorry. Let's try and get this finished up. So we're gonna go back. We're going back to the office, I guess. Probably like the only time in the game he's just letting you back through the doors. Or is he gonna tell me to like go the proper way? He'd say he's gonna get me back home, so I'm unsure. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting okay. the story first. I got this. I I'm got quite this. I'm sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? <laughs> Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. I don't want to. I'm going to go this way. Doesn't look like there is any way else for me to go, though. Unfortunately. <laughs> so. I guess we probably have to go the other way now. Oh no. Oh, it's ruined. You I can't believe after everything we talked about that you <laughs> my story. You've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It well it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? Yeah. You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. <laughs> it would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. Yeah, I've done the adventure so line. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. Okay. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. <laughs> That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be I'm fine. Sure you will. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> no! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the... Is this actually part of the game or is something weird going on here? 
Just follow my lead. How many times have we actually got to do this and repeat this bit? <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry! <laughs> the reset's getting nearer and nearer to the door, though. I have noticed. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry is behave exactly as Stanley would. That I don't know, is this, is this part? <laughs> and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly what? and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. I went back when he said that time. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I can't open the broom closet. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his nope. boss's office. That's different. Oh. That's the log of the executive bathroom. <laughs> Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 114. Have I actually got to speak this? He spoke it into the receiver, right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Okay, fine, you're not going to do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows Night what Shark, it means one, one, to five. take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? 
okay. Stan, please. I, I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? <laughs> okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. <laughs> oh dear well guys that's going to bring us to the end of the stream today thank you very much um hope you had as much fun as i did as always links are on screen please go check them out if you haven't done already and um again thank you very much for stopping by i've been knock you've been awesome happy gaming